This is Veritas, a gamma ray observatory in southern Arizona. You may recognize it from our video a few months ago, but today we're here for another reason, the inauguration of a brand new type of telescope. Behind me is a prototype Schwarzschild Cooter telescope, a gamma ray telescope proposed for the Cherenkov Telescope Array the next generation observatory for high energy astronomy. The difference between uh, the Short Shield Coudé telescope and a normal Cherenkov telescope is a normal Cherenkov telescope has one mirror surface reflecting the light onto the camera, whereas the Short Shield Coudé one has two mirror surfaces. And this essentially defocuses, also demagnifies the light, allowing you to use a smaller plate scale uh, photo detectors. What this essentially means is we can use smaller technology, uh, silicon technology, much like uh, the difference between uh, an old film camera and your mobile phone camera. Recently, we talked to one of the project scientists to tell us a little bit more about CTA. CTA is the, is the follow-up experiment, in some sense, to Veritas. Large optical reflectors will image the, the blue UV Cherenkov light that comes down uh, in, in air showers when the high-energy gamma ray interacts in the upper atmosphere. But unlike Veritas, CTA will consist of many more telescopes, 99 telescopes in the southern site and then 19 telescopes in the northern site, which will provide many more views of the shower and lead to much better uh, resolutions, energy and angular resolution, and much better sensitivity. That means that CTA will be able to see much fainter sources and more distant sources than Veritas will be able to do, or is able to do. The CTA will be composed of three different sizes of telescopes. Large 23 meter dishes, small 4 meter dishes, and then medium 12 meter telescopes like the one being inaugurated tonight. There are hundreds of people involved in the project, and some of them are here today to view this prototype. It is not really about the money, not about the companies, it is all about the people. The project has been going through a number of difficulties. On a few occasions we were jumping from the cliff without knowing if parachute will open. But it is the people's dedication and an extraordinary team behind this instrument which made it possible. Because every time people just do a little more, even on the fumes, without the money, and this is what comes out of it. CTA has many different science goals. With the medium-sized telescope, it will be looking at uh, things ranging from galactic objects like pulsars, supernova remnants, colliding winds, and cosmic ray acceleration sites uh, in general, all the way up to extragalactic objects, such as the, the jets that are coming from the supermassive black holes at the centers of active galaxies, which are accelerating particles to very close to the speed of light. All of the data that we take will be distributed to the public at large. I'm hoping that we'll see something totally new and totally exciting and, and of course we don't know what that is and I'm hoping that that will have the biggest impact on, on, on my work. But I don't know, I don't know what it is of course, because if, if, if I knew what it was, uh, it wouldn't be new. Hi, I'm Matthew. I'm Michael. And I'm Victoria. Thanks so much for watching our video about the Cherenkov Telescope Array. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss our live Q&A next week. We'll be talking about the making of this video. You can ask questions live during the chat or you can leave them below in the comments. Thanks so much for watching.